from a distance, I'm sure the other golfers probably thought I was nuts or, or crazy doing these dances and whatnot to, to, to keep them quiet. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, those times are really instrumental in my learning how to deal with distractions and still stay focused on my game. And amazingly, I continue to play at a high level with him in the baby cart there. Did you know that Tiger Woods' dad purposely would yell and throw clubs in front of him while he was swinging to teach him that famous focusing ability that he's known for? But I'm off the topic here. You know, up until about the age of 12, AJ actually listened to me and would go hang on every word that I would say about golf. I started with, started with a very simple swing and it, and it served him really well for the many years we were playing together. And he talks fondly of uh, how we drive the golf cart in crazy ways and you know, always celebrate another outing at the course with a tall soda at the end, beer for me, you know, at the 19th hole they call it. And then something happened. AJ hit that age where all of a sudden he knows everything. His game started to get better and I could see a wall come up, a wall, you know. Anytime I'd talk about the mental game of golf. In his mind, yeah, I think it was just a matter of him, he thought it was just a matter of him playing and practicing more and he'd seen the beginnings of improvement from that formula. What does he 